My main teaching relates to biodiversity, especially uh, of organisms without backbones, which are some of the most abundant organisms on the planet. I also then look at their roles in ecosystems, how they interact with each other and their environment, how they're influenced by human activities, and how we can best manage human activities to reduce their impact on these organisms. So the school has a broad remit. We're teaching about biomolecular and biomedical science. So that means we're looking at everything from small molecules, how they interact with human cells, how they interact with microbial cells, uh, whether they're infectious agents, how we fight disease, how disease is caused, and looking then at how we can apply those molecules in areas like medicine. I'm an organic chemist and I'm interested as such in the molecules that contain carbon and the types of molecules we're trying to make in our research area are those found in nature. So to give you a couple of examples, there's a molecule that's formed in the common daffodil being used at the moment to help treat people with Alzheimer's disease. Another example is a molecule that's found in a type of yew tree that's been used to cure thousands of cases of, of breast cancer around the world. One particular project that's going on at the moment is looking at the adhesive properties of starfish in the search for an effective glue that you can use underwater, that will set underwater, which has a wide range of industrial and also medical applications. I'm a microbiologist and uh, we're very interested in the production of biodegradable plastic by microorganisms. So most of us think that biodegradable plastic is something that microorganisms degrade. The reality is we can actually use microorganisms to make the plastic as well. So they can make the plastic and then when the conditions are right, they'll degrade the plastic. And so we're very interested in taking waste that society is producing lots of and converting that waste into something that's really valuable. What I particularly like about the program is that students can spend the first two years exploring different kinds of science ranging from physics and chemistry through biology before having to make their minds up about what they'll study in more detail. And then when they progress to the third and final years, they're able to explore those subjects in great detail and depth with some of the world's leading experts. Chemistry is a lot like cooking in lots of aspects. People often say chemistry is essential science and, and what they mean by that is that you can go from chemistry into lots of different areas because chemistry and an understanding of the way that molecules are formed and, and how they interact with other molecules leads you into areas of physics, material chemistry and often onto biology as well. So an understanding of chemistry is integral to these different disciplines. It's great to wake up each morning and know that each day will be different and will present the opportunity to find out something new about the endless mysteries of nature.